Welcome to my mathematics demo. This time I will be using Word and its mathematics adding to solve and plot simultaneous equations and inequalities. Click on the link below in the info section of YouTube to download and install your mathematics adding for Microsoft Word 2007 and 2010. So let's start with linear simultaneous equations. Let's Alt plus to enter the equation. Let's enter in 8, negative 8 x minus 6y equals 66. Enter our second equation, negative 4x plus 8y equals 44. Select both the equations, highlight both equations, right mouse click, and compute solve for x and y. Click that. What we have here is our solution to our simultaneous equation. x equals negative 9, y equals 1. If we reselect both the equations and plot this simultaneous equation, select graph, plot in 2D, what we have is a simultaneous equation plotted here. Let's move towards the solution and slightly zoom in. Okay. What I'm going to try and do is double click and edit the graph. Again, go back into edit state, we can see our equation there, we can see the solution here, and I'm going to trace the solution, and trace it and put the solution exactly where they meet. There it is, our solution. And I'm going to update our graph with the solution marked on. It's not precise, but our precise calculations is here. x equals negative 9, y equals 1. And we can see that's the point where both these equations cross each other, linear equations, negative 9 and 1. Okay, let's try another example. Negative 5x equals 10. And alt plus negative 7x equals negative 20. Okay, let's try and select compute solve for x. What we have here is a problem. The add in counts of the solution as the number of variables must be the same as the number of equations. Because we have two equations and we only have one variable, it has a problem in solving this equation. But let's see if from the plot what, what the solution would be or should be. And if we plot the graph, plot in 2D, what we can see is that both these lines both these equations represent vertical lines and they're parallel lines therefore they never meet if they never meet there is no solution to this problem let's put the plot into our document and and learn from the fact that because they're parallel lines they never meet and there is no solution to this simultaneous equation okay so let's enter another equation Start with 2x plus 5y equals 8, and our second equation 4x plus 10y equals 16. Select both these simultaneous linear simultaneous equations, compute solve for xy, we have our solution here. What it means is that y is y belongs to a set of real numbers. 
y e r means y belongs to a set of real numbers which means it can be any real value and x is dependent on the value y so for any value y x will depend on this equation 5y over 2 negative 5y over 2 plus 4 so let's plot the equation and we, ca we might get a more clear indication as to what it, the solution will be here we go both these equations lie on this line so what this means is for any value in the first equation the second equation will satisfy that same value which means that these equations lie are the same one the same equations and they have multiple solutions in in other words infinitely many solutions let's enter another simultaneous equation just to get a good healthy mix of the equations that we can solve with this negative 3y equals 18 and 4x equals 12 let's select both these equations compute solve for x, y we have x equals 3, y equals negative 6 select both the equations above and let's plot the graph in 2D we can see our graph plotted here and let's trace to the point where they actually meet there we go we can see our solution as x equals 3 y equals negative 6 and this is the point where our graph meets the two equations meet that point there x equals 3 y equals negative 6 let's plot some linear simultaneous inequalities center some equations in negative 5x plus 6y is greater than or equal to 8 and our second inequality 3x plus 2y is less than 9 we can try to solve this equation but what we'll get is no possible method to solve it this is because the add-in does not support simultaneous inequalities however we can plot this simultaneous inequality by right clicking graph plot in 2D and we can see the solution on our plot the green solution is represented there and the blue equation with the in the blue now the solution to this equation is the one that satisfies both these equations and let me just insert this into our document and explain what we have is for this linear simultaneous inequality the solution that satisfies both these equations is the bit that lies in between the blue and the green which is this section here not the blue section there or the green section there or this white section here but this section that satisfies both these linear inequalities the section where they overlap which is this section here and that's the section we're interested in to find the solution to this problem it would be we can work it out manually however uh, the add-in does not support the solution How, but we can use the graph to work the solution out okay let's plot another plot another inequality negative 4y is greater than 20 and 3x is greater than 12 let's put the equation 3x is greater than 12 select both these equations graph plot in 2d and again we can see clearly the solution where it satisfies both the green and the blue equation that's this band here let's insert that into our document we 
even though the add-in does not solve the simultaneous inequality, it is useful to plot and read the solution of the graph. Let's do a nonlinear simultaneous equation. Let's try and solve a nonlinear simultaneous equation. Enter the equation x squared plus x minus 12 equals y. Let's enter our second equation 5x plus 4y equals 10. We, this is a nonlinear simultaneous equation. You will see that when we plot the graph. Let's right click for a start, compute, solve for x, y. We have two solutions, and that's represented as a fractional form. The solution here worked out for us simplifies to these values x equals negative 5.1, y equals 8.87, or x equals 2.85, y equals negative 1.06. This is the point where both these equations meet. Let's right click graph plot in 2D and we can see the points where this, both these graphs meet and that's two points as this is a nonlinear simultaneous equation so problem. One of the points is negative 5, approximately negative 5 and approximately y equals 9 and the second point is approximately x equals 2.8 and y equals negative 1.2. If we insert these into our document, we can see that it satisfies the equation of solution that we've worked out. Let's plot, try and plot a nonlinear simultaneous inequality. Okay, put in an equation for the nonlinear simultaneous inequality as x squared minus 4 greater than or equal to y. And second equation 3x plus 2y less than 9. As we can now solve simultaneous inequalities, the only solution we can see is the graphical one, and that's what we'll aim for. Let's plot the graphical solution in 2D, and here we can see our graphical solution. It's the solution where both these equations satisfy. In other words, it's not the blue section, not the white section, and definitely not the green section. It's the section where it's satisfied by both the blue and the green section, which is this bottom section here. And that's the section we're interested in. Okay, let's plot this graph in there. And that is our solution satisfied by both these equations above. Hope you found my demo useful. Uh, don't forget to click on the link in the info section to download your copy of the Microsoft Mathematics add-in for Word 2007 and 2010.